Hey guys, Mr. Freddy here, and today, this is definitely the first best episode of this vlog video, which, by the series, is called Weirdo Vlogs. I think that's what the title is. So, anywho. So today's topic is, are Goombas actually more worthless than Koopas? You know, the Koopa Troops, the Troopas and such. But, anywho, these guys, you know... They first debut in the uh, in the original Super Mario Brothers. You know, they're like I'll say the most iconic enemies. You know, besides the uh, you know the infamous Piranha Plants, which you know Piranha Plants is kind of just smashed, but these Goombas, mm, uh, and so it's the Koopas. But there's see, like people just like always see them as just the one hit enemy that was felt easy to stomp on like this. Bit 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 bit. Like that, but well, there's like other ones, you know, like you know, there's like so many varieties of Goombas, you know, there's you know, like a, a giant Goomba, you know, the chess, you know, the those of uh, the more like you know, those anim those type of Goombas in New Super Brothers U, the ones in Tomorrow World, and also there's a here's the mighty of all Goombas, King Goomba from Paper Mario, but. I just already recognize them in, in like in the sip in the DS port of some Mario 64 and Mario Kart DS. You know, <clears throat> that one Goomba who was kind of like, like the strongest of the of all the Goomba species, you know. Oh yeah, there's also the shoe Goomba and there's also a spike Goomba, the spike helmet Goomba, all that, but come on. These people are just a little more underestimated these Goombas, you know, as just those just your average one hit enemies type of type of things, you know. So it's just one hit, they're gone. But unlike Koopas, which is like, like one hit that and then yeet it with its shell, Goombas can be in shape and form like piranha plants, you know. While piranha plants can be have like different shapes and forms that can be a lot more tougher to handle, you know, like the, the leader of old plants, PD Piranha, and some more sunshine. And now, like recent stuff in Mario, especially, especially in spinoffs, which you know, more like just that one character that's kind of a always been a little more iconic because of Sunshine and looks like Cooper Blooper. But come on, don't underestimate these Goombas, you know, because there's like more than that, like the, the like the the ones like shaped like nut, like a kind of like its head look more big, look big. And the other one looks like, uh, you know, those ones from Mario World. Yeah. And also there's, and also they can turn into gold, which it could be valuable if they're worth a, f a million dollars. If they made out of gold, just imagine it. Just imagine a golden Guma that worth $1,000 or, or even better, like $1 billion. You know, these guys will be made out of gold. They're going to be $1 billion, you know, just like Koopas. But let me see. What's the other thing? Hmm. Oh yeah. You know, Goombas that can be have like different, sh different tricks on their sleeves in the more, in the RPG games. You know, sometimes they're they're strong, and some are kind of just your typical regular Goomba. But <clears throat> yeah. So these Goombas, they're cute and kind of look kind of a little more a little mad, you know, because. Everybody always always wouldn't make fun of them as just typical one hit enemies that felt easy to handle. Then Koopas like, you know, just had to hit them in and then maybe just you know throw it to the to the pit or just throw them for just more points and even one up get some one ups. Yeah. Like that. But, you know, like the pair of Goomba that can fly and there's a Goomba with spike with a spike helmet and like I think Paper Mario and also and also, there's like it's supposed to be like an unused Goomba enemy, like Iron Goomba. And also, there's Jack O' Lantern Goomba from Jack O' Lantern Goombas from the new, you know, I think I recognize the new Super Mario Brothers uh, DS and Galaxy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Corporal uh, Goombas, aka Helmet Goombas. You know, those are kind of tough. They're kind of like more in the most invincible because you can't kill them. You just like kick them, kick them, kick them. Again, you can just defeat them. But unless you have to use a power up to freaking eliminated it yeah 
there's some Goombas that are actually strong. You know? Now I just like finally remember the Halloween Goomba. You know, the pumpkin head Goomba. And the helmet Goomba. And also the unused iron Goomba. Which, you know, I kind of wish they bring back that variant of Goomba in some way. Maybe in the next 3D Mario game or one of the spin-off games. Who knows? So, yeah. This is just kind of rather short for a weirdo vlog. A uh, weirdo vlog video about are Goombas worthless than Koopas and Piranha Plants? Mm, no, they're not worthless. They can be... They can be rather tough in the RPG games and and so as like in uh, in Galaxy with like in other 3D Mario games like there's giant Goombas, uh, helmet Goombas, uh, there's jack o' lantern Goombas and iron Goombas and the king of all Goombas, King Goomba. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and subscribe for more videos. So bye bye. Come on guys, uh, I still like you, you know, but. Maybe it should be a little more stronger. Okay. Oh yeah, there's like Goombas that can I like 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 fortresses and it's like you guys like uh jump on them like rapidly or just like ground pound them. Well they can be look tough, you know, but you know, you know, throw fireballs or just like jump on them or just ground pound them to death. But yeah. Goombas are underrated. Give them the chance. Even if Prana Plant isn't smashed. Why not, like, have a playable Goomba in Smash? But, you know, we already have one, which is in some Mario, Mario Superstars Baseball. Yeah, that's been off in Super Sluggers, where a Goomba is playable, and he has no hands, but he can still throw, use a baseball bat and, like, a baseball glove, which felt kind of wacky, you know, but... Yeah, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and... See you tomorrow for like a reaction video. Even for it, tomorrow's gonna be Super Bowl Sunday, which I can't wait for it. So yeah, guys, have a nice day and bye bye. Respect the the brown mushroom boys. Yeah. Uh, that line sounds a little worthless. Okay, okay, just keep your uh, uh pantsy downs uh, your pants are downs uh. Don't, don't don't make unrest of me and my bad jokes, but yeah. Have a nice day, guys. Bye bye.